the song is called Fool Like You. That's by Kovacs, A Fool Like You. I really love that song. She's got such an angry, intense lyrics and a voice about her, but you know, if you've been through it, you've been through it, and that music is therapy. So anyways, hi, welcome back to The Pursuit of Living Well. I'm Amanda, your certified health coach, and we are back in action. Today we are on lesson number 23 of the Foundation for Inner Peace. Lesson 23 is, I can escape from the world I see by giving up my attack thoughts. So just a backtrack. Okay, I am determined to see, I am determined to see things differently. What I see is a form of vengeance. I can escape from the world I see by giving up my attack thoughts. The idea for today contains the only way out of fear that will ever succeed. Nothing else will work. Everything else is meaningless. But this way cannot fail. Every thought you have makes up some segment of the world you see. It is with your thoughts, then, that we must work if your perception of the world is to be changed. If the cause of the world you see is attack thoughts, you must learn that it is these thoughts which you do not want. There is no point in lamenting the world. There is no point in trying to change the world. It is incapable of change because it is merely an effect. But there is indeed a point in changing your thoughts about the world. Here you are changing the cause. The effect will change automatically. This is the medical. The idea for today introduces the thought that you are not trapped in the world that you see because it is the cause that can be changed. This change requires first that the thought, that the cause be identified and then let go so it can be replaced. The first two steps in this process require your cooperation. The final one does not. Your images have already been replaced. By taking the first two steps, you will see that this is so. Besides using it throughout the day as the need arises, five practice periods are required in applying today's idea. As you look about, you repeat the idea slowly to yourself first, and then close your eyes and devote about a minute to searching your mind for as many attack thoughts as occur to you. As each one crosses your mind, say, I can escape from the world I see by giving up my attack thoughts about. I can escape from the world I see by giving up my attack thoughts about. Hold each attack thought in mind as you say this and then dismiss that thought and go on to the next. In the practice periods, be sure to include both your thoughts of attacking and being attacked. Their effects are exactly the same because they are exactly the same. You do not recognize this yet as you are asked at this time only to treat them as the same in today's practice periods. We are still at the stage of identifying the cause of the world you see. When you finally learn that thoughts of attack and of being attacked are not different, you will be ready to let the cause go. So, I can escape from the world I see by giving up my attack thoughts about. And this is just like a very meditative exercise. You're going to close your eyes and you're going to say to yourself, I can escape from the world I see by giving up this attack thought about this person 
or this situation and then you let it go and you really let it go if you concentrate on that and if you have a will to let it go and then you begin to continually see things differently and differently until these attack thoughts no longer exist as strongly as they do in your mind right now we're always going to have an attack thought because we're always going to have an ego but to choose to not react by that attack thought is the goal here and to recognize that when there is an attack thought it's a call for healing within yourself that you need to develop more patience tolerance love acceptance and so for the other because you and the other are both the same you and the situation are both the same and so it's not about changing that other person or changing the situation it's about changing your thoughts about the situation so that something new can occur it's a cause and effect and you here are the cause that's today's lesson a little bit from the text this is good all right when you are sad know that this not be Depression comes from a sense of being deprived of something you want and do not have. Remember that you are deprived of nothing except by your own decisions, and then decide otherwise. When you are anxious, realize that anxiety comes from the capriciousness of the ego and know that this need not be. You can be as vigilant against the ego's dictates as for them. When you feel guilty, remember that the ego has indeed violated the laws of God, but you have not. Leave the sins of the ego to me, to Christ. That is what the atonement is for. But until you change your mind about those whom your ego has hurt, the atonement cannot release you. While you feel guilty, your ego is in command because only the ego can experience guilt. This need not be. Watch your mind for the temptations of the ego and do not be deceived by it. It offers you nothing. When you have given up this voluntary dispiriting, you will see how your mind can focus and rise above fatigue and heal. Yet you are not sufficiently vigilant against the demands of the ego to disengage yourself. This need not be. This goes great along with today's exercise because in all these attack thoughts that we want to escape from, they all stem from these certain emotions, depression, anxiety, guilt, fear, doubt. We can escape those thoughts by learning to see them differently and by healing them within. There's an inner child meditation that you can use to see where this... Um, this void in you has originated from you can go back in time imagine yourself as a little child grow up to the experience of what you now consider depression or anxiety or sadness and comfort that little soul of yours and that becomes that loving energy heals and you really feel the shift here when you do that between a shift in thought and a shift in your energy. It's sometimes difficult to shift our energy when we look at ourselves because we're seeing ourselves and the ego is seeing itself and the ego is seeing what it wants to see. But when you think of something in your mind that you really love and you really care for and that, that really is you, your inner child, your childhood self, it's a whole lot easier to have compassion for yourself because you are still that same person growing up and you just need to remind yourself that this need not be we can see this a different way and we can love ourselves completely through it so that's today's lesson today um pretty short and sweet uh just to reiterate one more time if i would stop losing my page
I can escape from the world I see by giving up my attack thoughts. So five practice periods today, one minute eyes closed in a meditation, but also anytime you feel an attack thought come up throughout the day, notice it, become aware of it, and in that first step, you can replace it. That is being the cause of the effect that you want to experience. You don't want to experience attack, attack thoughts or being attacked, but you can be the cause that can change that effect. So that's today. Don't be a fool. Like the song goes, fool like you. I want to play it one more time because I just seem to like starting my videos and ending my videos with these songs. Be a fool like you. <laughs> See you next time.